Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle explaining as simply as possible the world around us. This week in 5 Minute Geography we look at the explosion of the global population. This is part 1 of a 2 part series. A big thank you to Toby for suggesting this week's topic. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video to discover the fastest growing countries. The global population now stands at 7.8 billion people. But how have we gotten here? Well, after the dawn of humankind, population growth was very, very slow for thousands and thousands of generations. Famines, plagues and wars kept the population in check. For example, the Black Death in Europe led to high debt rates in the Middle Ages. And because of high debt rates, which is the number of people who die per thousand, were similar to the birth rates, which is the number of people that are born per thousand, throughout most of human history, population growth remained very low. However, in the past 200 years, debt rates have greatly declined for many reasons, such as filtered drinking water, vaccinations against killer diseases. Therefore, the population increased because the global birth rate exceeded the debt rate. After a population explosion in the 20th century, in recent years, the increase in population over time has began to slow down. If we look right back to 10,000 BCE, we can see the population is pretty much stagnant. It's not until the development of vaccinations and medicines where people begin to live longer and less people die and the population then explodes. Fertility rates across the world today are varied. Fertility rate refers to the average number of children per woman in a country. This varies greatly between poorer countries and richer countries. The average fertility rates across the world in the 1950s was about 5 children per woman. However, today, average fertility rates have declined massively to just over 2 children per woman and they are continuing to decline. Fertility rates in poor countries today are high, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa, the world's poorest regions. They continue to have large families. Parents in many poor countries have large families. Why? Well, because of high child mortality rate. In many poor countries, child mortality exceeds 100 per 1000 live births by the age of 5. So parents have more children because they fear that some of their children will not survive. Many women are poorly educated and are not aware of family planning measures, such as contraceptives. Family planning is not really widespread and some cultures and religions are not in favour of it. Another reason why fertility rates are so high in poorer countries is that children are seen as an economic asset. During the planting and harvesting season in the countryside, they help to mind babies and toddlers while their parents are in the field and tend to the animals. Children will also look after their parents in their older ages, as poor countries do not have pensions. In wealthier countries, parents have smaller families because child mortality rate is as low as 2 per 1000 live births. Women in these countries are aware of and practice family planning. Children are more of an economic liability because raising and educating them is very expensive. Therefore, one or two children are much more affordable than three or four. Elderly parents receive pensions from the state and from their pension funds and are less dependent on their children in their older age. Women have a different role in society in these countries and therefore become educated and follow a career, meaning women and men tend to be older by the time they start their families. One of the greatest social achievements of the last century has been the decline in debt rates across the globe. There are several reasons for this decline. One is the increasing availability of food. We now have the ability to filter drinking water. We have improved greatly in services of mass vaccinations and we have much better health awareness among the public. In the 1940s alone, almost 4,000 people died from TB alone in Ireland every year. This is unheard of today. Because death rates have declined, life expectancy has increased by at least 30 years in many countries. This is unprecedented when we look back in all of human history. Niger is projected to have a population growth between 2018 to 2030 of 
Its current population lies at 22.2 million people. The rate of natural population growth for the West African nation stands at 3.8%, the highest in the world. With a full 50% of the population under the age of 15, the number of babies born per population standing at 7 babies per thousand is expected to jump from 22.2 million to 63.1 million by 2050. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please click the like and subscribe to the channel. Stick around for next week where we delve into part two of this two-part series.